few places stir up as many horror stories as the mountains of the United States. Maybe it's because this is a vast territory with multiple natural areas that offer the perfect place for camping, exploring, and doing outdoor physical activities, which pushes the victims to visit these habitats of danger. Of course, it's impossible for the government to police every single mile at the same time, which is why some of the most chilling events you'll ever hear about have happened in its parks and trails. But we're not just talking about serial killers, kidnappers, or anything like that. We're talking about inexplicable creatures, real beasts that no one has managed to catch but keep lurking in the forest and mountains every year, waiting for the perfect moment to paralyze their victims with fear. Are you brave enough to meet one of the most disconcerting beasts? Then it's time for you to join us as we uncover the mystery of the mutant bugs of Bald Mountain, a terribly spellbinding story. If you've ever visited Washington, you've probably heard of the 15 peaks of Bald Mountain. It is a succession of mountains with abundant nature that attracts hundreds of thousands of tourists and visitors every year. Life grows non-stop in its green spaces. The color of the trees and the earth are present at all times, and it is difficult to find a fixed direction to look at because every corner emanates a blinding beauty. However, there have been a series of reports on one of these high natural hills. This has caught the attention of the local police. It is a series of unexplained events that began 50 years ago in the 1970s. It all happened 20 miles east of Chehalis near Nawakam Lake, one of the lowest peaks in the area. It was November 14, 1974, and there weren't many tourists in the area. There was only a small number of people and they soon disappeared. It wasn't a spot with great views, so visitors would usually be in other zones. Even so, there was a couple of hikers that chose that spot as the designated place for their routine walks. For three years, they had been going on a weekly basis, so they knew the trail from end to end. They would usually go past the lake and then follow the Bald Mountain Trail to Lewis County. Everything seemed fine. The birds filled the sky, and the powerful silence of the environment was only interrupted by the voices of the insects. However, as they reached the crossroads of the trail, one of the hikers noticed that one of the trees along the trail was destroyed, almost as if it had been burned. Not knowing what he was doing, he went off the trail, going in the direction of that mystery until he stumbled upon a strange burning object. It seemed that it had only been on the ground for less than two days. The hikers could not even manage to babble a word. This was a very strange find, but they would not have time to inspect it. From the east, the sound of heavy footsteps surprised them, and when they realized what was approaching them, they only managed to run as if their lives depended on it. Later, when they went to the police to report it, they would describe a horse-sized creature with tentacles and antenna that emitted a strange green glow and a vibrating buzzing sound. That was the first recorded sighting of the strange creature on Bald Mountain, but it would not be the last. A few days later, Mr. and Mrs. Ramsbaugh were walking in the area when a glow that was coming from an alternate mountain trail caught their attention. They thought about following the strange light, but decided to leave the place as soon as possible. None of them wanted any trouble, and everything seemed very strange. However, a little further ahead, the same glow appeared again, almost as if it was following them. That artificial, almost neon glow was approaching faster and faster, so they decided to turn back and look for help. They ran desperately, but halfway through they stopped to look back. It was a big mistake because they encountered a totally terrifying being. The strange creature was as long as a horse, and its head was circular, with the features of an insect and a goat. Two antennae that emitted an intense green glow protruded from the head and were flattened to the sides. The skin was silvery and scaly as if it was wearing armor, and on the sides of its body there was a very light skirt 
as if it had two wings at rest. The couple couldn't believe what was before them, but Mr. Ramsbaugh didn't hesitate for a moment. He grabbed his wife's hand and pulled her forward. The woman reacted immediately and they both disappeared from the scene with immense fear and forced themselves not to turn back. After this complaint, local authorities decided to take action. Lewis County Sheriff William Weister started an investigation at the scene. He reconstructed the areas where the sightings had occurred and found a lightly burned green area. On the ground, a small crater indicated that something had hit the ground, but it already disappeared from the area. Undoubtedly, something strange was happening. One doesn't see such things every day. And for the authorities, the further they got into the case, the more confusing it all became. What really was that strange creature? Where was it hiding? Sheriff Weister could never answer these questions. In fact, no one could. A few days after starting his investigation, Weister was pulled away from it due to the arrival of the U.S. Air Force. Why would such a high-ranking authority bother to investigate a report that seemed like mere hallucinations? Something was odd. There was a hidden secret, a dark truth that was kept away from the public light. At least this is what Sheriff Weister believed, and he would die assuring that the creature of Bald Mountain was an alien that landed on our planet. The strangest thing about this whole case is that the government never acknowledged having sent the U.S. Air Force to the area. Almost as if it was the movie Men in Black, a couple of individuals arrived to clean up the scene of the strange event, leaving the community and the whole society unable to discover the truth behind the case of the Bald Mountain Mutant Bugs. There are many other stories that seem like something that was taken out of a fiction book but have actually been part of many people's experiences. From an astronaut who claims to have seen a snake in space, to the most chilling cases that remain unsolved. These peculiar situations always have first-hand witnesses, and if you are willing to listen to what they have to tell us, check the following videos to discover their stories.